atheists and non-theists, I am the Atheist Paladin. I've watched um, Prof MTH video and he included me as one of those who responded to um, but I realized that I really didn't answer Veritas's question or, or or given a proper account. I was just merely in the first one um, pointing out the weaknesses and the contradictions and the things I didn't really understand about his argument. Um, but I'm gonna, gonna for this one I can uh, I'm gonna say why do I believe or why do I go on moving in my life? Why do I uh, not have unyielding despair? I think first we must understand the position, what it, him, for him, what it means to have meaning to life. Um, that uh, one thing that I find most, uh, I find a very good correlation is those who find the theological argument as well as creationism uh, typically put a bigger stress on the meaning of life. Um, some people don't like to think that they, or as they improperly say, that we came from monkeys or pond scum. So that they seem to devalues their life and their purpose to life as well as their morality. But that is a whole other issue. And I think Veritas takes it the same way. He takes the view of being created a god and therefore a purpose. It's almost viewing yourself as a sort of tool. Now obviously this is for, you know, gripping down on things, getting a good grip, and wrenching them. So therefore you would use it in that way. Um, people look for meanings in the similar way. You know, what is my nature? What should I, and then in turn, finding out what my nature is, therefore putting that to use, and therefore finding usefulness in life. And that's, that's what I think that, um, what he's really looking for is how do we find usefulness in life? When I originally deconverted myself in 2006 in January, um, it was like unyielding despair. I had a bigger sense of what the universe was and what it was like. It was cold, it was senseless to human emotion or thought. Basically, you were on your own. So how did I come out of this? How did I um, find a new meaning to life? Why aren't I just suffering deck tears on the Titanic? I find, well, I find that um, analogy a bit off because the Titanic it was a more sense of eminence. If everybody knew that an asteroid was going to hit tomorrow and basically make life on this planet pretty much dead, either one, everyone will be living it up or trying to find a way to survive or, you know, maybe something else I haven't considered. Then, then I, you know, it would make sense not to go to work or, you know, not to go to school or any of those things because then they would become ultimately meaningless. But in the grand scheme of things, um, we don't know. And therefore we must live. So, taking account of this drastic view, how do we keep on living? Is Well, the thing is, I am not trying, it's not as my purpose, so to speak, to affect things on the grand scale. I realize I'm just a person, and therefore, most of the things I do is going to be, do, be done for me. Or for those that I found valuable to... Uh, make their happiness in their life because it pleases me to make them happy. And I think that's what it really boils down to is we recognize that the universe is ultimately going to die and it's um, that it won't account for anything and they'll, you know, trillions of years down the road they won't be able to tell anything because the universe has pretty much died off and and what is called the big rip is going to happen and everything is just going to be fly apart and come infinitely um, infinitely uh, undense or everything's going to be flying apart at nearly at light speeds. 
it's sort of strange, sort of um, ever expanding in singularity. But that's not my goal. It's not what I'm trying to accomplish. And I think that's what he's not, uh, what Veritas is not recognizing, is that we're not trying to do things in that grand scheme. Now, when he got that, when we view his own purpose and what it means to him, of course, he's trying to think in that way because part of his purpose in life is to make it to heaven, which is eternal, which lasts forever. So, therefore, what he is trying to do is trying to do something that is going to um, last forever. And I think that's the distinction of what Veritas is uh, not recognizing. Is that he's trying to establish a equivalent of theistic meaning to an atheistic meaning. When, when such thing is really trying to put a square peg in a round hole. Atheistic meaning is completely different on and out of itself. And that's what I think everybody has to find when they deconvert themselves or they trying to understand what atheism is. So for an atheist the meaning and purpose of life is simply to live. Because the only thing that we know is that we get one shot. We don't know if we reincarnate or we have an afterlife or any of that stuff. So why waste the only shot that we get? Why waste um, the only thing that is valuable? And I find life in itself valuable because all the circumstances that got to me, that got to life on this planet, are exceedingly, um, exceedingly big. There's big chances. Oogles and Googles of Googles of chances when you take them all into account with everything that led to me. So why am I going to blow this one time blotto when I obviously pretty much won? and just throw it all away. That's my take on um, the atheist meaning to life. So Maybe it doesn't last forever, but that's not the purpose. So, peace.